So the nice thing about this demonstration is that it is actually demonstrating dynamic multi-protocol. So we have the capability of actually running multiple protocols on a single IC. All right, so we've already got this device transmitting, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually set up this device and I'm gonna configure it through a BLE connection. So I'm gonna go into my range test. I'll actually see the boards that are out there. I'm gonna select this board. We're now connected with an active BLE connection. Now I'm gonna go ahead and configure it to do the RX side. What you'll notice is we have multiple settings that we could change in here. One of them is the fly configuration. So I mentioned this is a dynamic multi-protocol device. So I'm running BLE from here. And for the range portion communicating to the board, I could do a number of different protocols, whether it's standard uh, Bluetooth low energy, high data rate, or even Bluetooth long range to extend the range. For this test, since I have the other one transmitting at 802.15.4, I'm gonna go ahead and configure it for that. We'll go ahead and tell it to repeat the test, and then we'll start. And you'll see that I'm actually starting the transmission. All right, so now that we've got the boards communicating, let's take a walk and see how we do. So as we start to walk, what you'll notice is the RSSI will actually start to drop a little bit. And this is because we're getting distance, other obstructions, things that may be affecting the range. But I still have very good performance. In fact, uh, at this point, I have a very low packet error rate. So as we continue to walk, we're going around corners, we're getting more obstructions, and we still have a very good reliability, a uh, very good link, and a very good uh, RSSI of about minus 60. Now at this point, um, if I was using a competitor's device that was around a 110 dB link budget, you would actually see a very high packet error rate, and I'd actually start to lose re uh, reliability and start to lose connections. At this point, though, we still have a very good connection. We're at about minus 70 RSSI, so we're going to continue to walk. And again, you'll see that there's a lot of obstructions around here, and we still have a very good point-to-point -point link. And of course, with this technology, it's designed for mesh devices. So in general, what you want to do is just hop to the next device. But the more robust my device is, the better my range is, the less re um, repeats I have to have, and overall, I just get a better network reliability. So as we come here, you can see my RSSI is still very good. I'm at about minus 70 DBM, I'm still getting a very good uh, reliability link and very low packet error rate. In fact, if we look at this, while we have a packet error rate of close to 4%, uh, with retries and things like that, we're not dropping really data for the end customer. And you can actually see that I have about a minus uh, 70 RSSI, so I still have a very good link from this point. So I still have a very good reliable connection, and I make sure that the whole network's gonna be uh, performing well.